Hey, this is Steve. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about an upcoming weight loss seminar that I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I posted um, a little bit of information on some results I was getting and people, everybody wanted information. And um, this is an area I've actually been doing a ton of work on lately. I've always loved being fit. Um, and all of a sudden, I'm 50 this year and I found like, okay, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. And so I did a huge amount of work on um, using muscle testing and energy healing and doing massive amounts of research on what really works, what doesn't, how to hack it for my clients. Um, and I want to go over a few things that we're, we're going to be talking about. It'll be um, this coming Friday, um, November 1st at 2 p.m. and the following Tuesday, uh, November 5th, also at 2 p.m. We're going to do it all online. By video, we'll record it. You'll be able to review it as much as you want, and you'll leave there uh, with um, real huge insights on what you can personally do to um, fix your own weight loss. Now, this will be ideal if you can muscle test, but I'm going to be sharing a lot of information as well. Um, if you can't muscle test, there's going to be a lot of helpful information for you as well. So, um, some interesting things we're going to be covering. Um, how I lost 18 pounds in 13 days and it was easy and I did the same things I had previous done that were hard previously and so why did it become easy um, why your mindset and how you set your goals is maybe the most important thing because you can't learn how to win if you feel like you're losing um, how to figure out what your level of consciousness is around fitness and weight loss um, you know and what's preventing you from really stepping into it and allow it to become easy versus just kind of feeling like you don't deserve it and why is there so much guilt and shame over it. Um, understanding the power of intermittent fasting and extended fasting. Um, you'll find that um, when you eat can actually be almost as important as what you eat and we'll go over that and how to figure out what's best for you, all right? And a few simple tricks on how to make that much easier. Um, I'm going to be co going over a really freaky trick on how you can do extended fasting if you want to and actually gain muscle while you're not eating and make it easy to fast while you're doing it. It's pretty crazy. Um, going over how if you pray over your food, can it help with weight loss? <laughs> um, does fighting with your spouse make you gain weight? I'm going to give you some really crazy insights on the emotional energetic thing and how, um, you know, different con levels of consciousness and emotions can shut down weight loss. Um, we're going to talk about leading indicators of future fat loss. So how to me what biomarkers to measure and how to hack them so you know you're actually on the right track. And if you keep doing it, you'll get results down the road. Okay, that's super important because sometimes you're doing the right thing and it's going to take a while to kick in. Well, how, how can you know that? That's super helpful. Um, how does maybe your quality of sleep, um, even if you're technically sleeping, but is the quality of your sleep good enough? And how to improve that so you can help with weight loss. Um, why eating a meal at 6 o'clock can be radically different in your physical body than if you eat it at 8 o'clock? Um, what supplements and what amounts to take? Um, what, how to figure out what a weight set point is and what your emotional weight set point is and what your physical weight set point is and maybe how to shift some of those um, what foods are the hidden cause of inflammation in your body this is real interesting a lot of times you think you're doing the right thing and eating the right food and you're eating a whole bunch of stuff that's causing inflammation in your body and if you're causing inflammation you just forget about weight loss it's not going to happen um, how to figure out for you, you know, one of the big things is everybody's different, okay? You can't just like cookie cutter everyone on weight loss, like everyone should do this. So you need to figure out for you how many carbs can you handle? How much fat do you need? How much protein do you need? How to get it in? Um, all massively important and that can really change all, all the time. Um, in what weeding, eating window should you eat? Again, massively important. One of the real magic keys is when to eat your food. Makes a huge difference. Um, how to figure out if you have any emotional disconnections to weight loss. Um, I'll tell a story of why something my, that happened to my mom at age 21 
made it almost impossible for her to lose weight at 60 and how we figure that out. Um, also how I figured out for a couple other clients on um, why changing their um, goal, goal weight by two pounds made a big difference and was very important for them. Questions, are you exercising too much? Are you exercising too little? Um, and uh, overall, if you're doing a bunch of things to lose weight, what percentage of what you actually need is what you're currently doing? Do you think you're doing all the right things, but man, you're not even close to hitting it? Or could you tweak a few things and all of a sudden now you're at what you really need? Anyways, it's gonna be very informative. I'm gonna share a lot of information. Uh, you know, both my wife and I have gotten huge results with our health and fitness this year at age 50. Um, I'm for sure stronger than I ever have been in my life, and I know exactly the simple things to do to feel amazing. Not that I always do them, but I know how to get back on track and get the results I want. And I'm incredibly encouraged about my future fitness as I grow older. So hope this helps and I look forward to it. If you want more information about it, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll include a link below. If you're looking at this somewhere on social media, um, just message me for a link on information on participating in the seminar. Thanks.